hello beautiful virgo welcome into the gifted ham if you are new to the channel hello 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 my name is leela i reside in london uk and if you'd like to in the comment section below let me know where you reside always intrigued to know where my viewers are from i'm also a virgo now i'm a little bit annoyed not with you virgo with this past energy recent past past energy whatever you want to do um, however you want to take it, okay? We'll get to that in a second. Going to do an inventory spread which picks up on past, present and future energy. And then I will do a complete love reading following this. So look out for it, okay? But let's just jump into you. Let's focus on us, yeah? One Virgo to another. So you got spaceship. Funny actually, because four and three equals seven. And we've got two sevens there. Mm-hmm. Funny, funny, funny. So let's quickly just read what this oracle card says. For spaceship, it says, don't be afraid to sing. Okay. Can we start over again? I have been missing you. <laughs> spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. You've been made to believe that your voice, that your unique point of view in this world isn't worth very much. Let me tell you, that couldn't be further from the truth. Your words are worth all the stars in the night sky. So don't forget to sing whenever you have the chance. Your voice is powerful enough to sink a dozen spaceships. Get it, Virgo. Big Virgo energy. You know, shame on the person that breaks Virgo's heart. Shame on them. Bottom of the deck, four uh, wands, twin flame energy in the... In the... Uh, the reverse position yeah cracks in the foundation but look what's following it the ten of pentacles so i feel like after a lot of broken brokenness you know whether it's heartbreak take it as it resonates there's going to be some happiness coming towards you so let's jump into this past energy you got the seven of cups which talks about confusion talks about options it can be a bit nostalgic you know she's there kind of got that little grin on her face and she has all these cups but it's past energy so i feel like somebody confused you virgo they confused your heart they may have sold you a dream or you know said one thing and done enough another you could have could have got completely ghosted so you got the seven of cups and the seven of swords and that was when i was like oh hell no don't do it don't do it to us so i feel like and then you got the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy in fact actually no i'm not going to pull out the rune i'll pull out the rune for the love reading I feel like, uh, yeah, you were played big time. I've been played in the recent past. So maybe you guys have as well. Well, fact, some of you guys, you know, you got played by either a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, or someone that emotionally played you, you know, uh, treated your heart as almost like a puppet yeah so i feel like yeah and i feel like um a lot of you kind of got bored i feel like a lot of you right no no i wouldn't even say that forget the board erase that yeah what i see here is a person who betrayed you confused you yeah maybe they left you as an option and they left you for somebody else and they completely left you in the lurch some of you saw it coming quite frankly because a lot of you are in tune with your shit right so i feel like a lot of you saw it coming but listen this is the past energy yeah so fuck the person that thinks that they can play over virgo you will get what's happening to you you will get what's coming to you but hey that's not for me to say you know so 15 is capricorn energy in the present energy give me some more please for the present energy for virgo some of you guys are horny some of you guys don't oh, be careful so i've been told to tell you just now from spirit be careful all right play with yourself <laughs> instead right quick fix if needs be but be careful oh shit too many cards justice will be served if you do the right thing that's what i get so present energy for virgo please give me two more cards for the present energy for Virgo. I'm all about my jumpers, so you guys will have to be patient. 
yeah shouts out to all my returning subs freaking love you guys oh this is what i mean so we've got self-sabotaging energy here you guys need to be careful it's not for it's not for every virgo i'm gonna take that one as you know as bible as the kardashians say yeah but it's like just be careful be mindful because sometimes when we're bored we've got too much time on our hands we can get ourselves in situations that we didn't actually want to get into okay so i feel like um some of you may be holding on to something that's not meant for you okay maybe a lot of you actually have it's like a sexual maybe if you're honest with yourself and you know you're here looking for answers yeah how do you get over this person be honest with yourself and maybe realize that it was probably lust or it was just physical right and that might hurt that might really hit you guys some of you right but like i'm not here to paint a pretty picture you know i'm going to paint what i see yeah look at this six of cups so some of you are holding on to shit from the past people that don't serve you anymore in some way or another maybe you idolize this person you put them actually in in a position that they don't deserve to be in for some of you guys it's that quite it's, it's literally that simple you definitely some of you are really holding on to something that was probably just physical and yeah that's hard to hear because sex is a sacred thing i would have thought for a lot of virgos you know so um now you know just take it as a bit of advice from tarot yeah this is nice so going into the future energy we have the six of swords and we have the emperor card and the emperor card could have been the empress all right so we've got alpha coming in so i feel like um yeah this is what i'm fucking talking about give me one more card for present energy for the virgos give me one more card for the future energy for virgo one more card for future energy it was a clear jumper wow eight of swords and the four of wands wow it's clear indication you know for me i feel like some of you are in situations that you're not happy in it's that you know and for others of you i feel like this is you guys letting go now some of you letting go of your twin some of you realizing actually this is not a fight that i want to carry on with this is energy that i cannot continue to continue on with like i feel with that emperor card there like you guys are going to step into your power you're going to reclaim taking charge of your life you know and being a leader you're stepping into some sort of power here however you should be mindful you know of of something here you know keeping your mind healthy why is this eight of swords here like I usually get another pile to what is this yeah stepping into your power some of you love is not love is not what you're looking for right now you know maybe some of you like you're, you're holding on to the thought of being with this person or a person when in fact there's still work to be done yeah i feel like some of you are really becoming your own bosses you know taking charge you're going to be taking charge of your life in some way or another it's that it's that simple and i feel like there may be some miscommunications moving forward virgo you need to know from one virgo to another like perfection just doesn't exist you'll never find it so if that's what you're looking for you'll, you'll never get it you know i see happiness here i see you guys something very nice coming forward now look look at these angel cards that came up virgo you have the magician card okay this represents virgo or gemini energy you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical life is what you make it it you are able to start again you can give yourself permission to start a fresh start again a new lease manifesting what it is that you truly desire because it's there for the taking and a, a lot of you want to be in a very sincere loyal energy two of cups a relationship that continues to grow closer forgiveness and the positive resolution of a conflict there's always light at the end of the tunnel there's always um positive and negatives to all situations try to look at the positive you know because you've got the ten of cups twice look at this this is beautiful a contented and rewarding family life your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships 
So despite all the crap that you've been through, all the deceit, the betrayals, there is something beautiful coming in here. Just be mindful to stay out of your mind. Be mindful to be truthful to yourself in all situations. Don't stay in an energy just because you're, you're too nice, right? Do what's best for you. And in doing so, you know, I see something beautiful coming in. So, my lovelies, I'm just going to leave it there and I'm going to jump and go and do the love reading. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if it resonated with you in any way. Love, peace and light from me to you. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to yourself, Virgo. Have a beautiful, productive week ahead and I'll catch you on a rebound, baby.